Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj, no nonsense strength training. So this is my quick little bench press workout. I did uh, right after my shift finishing at 8.30 in the night. I'm still wearing my work pants and work boots. So pretty quick uh, half an hour type of workout. And as I was editing this video, I was going through thoughts of how I have a love and hate relationship with bench press. Love because every man on the planet loves doing bench press, loves having a chest day pump and hate for many other reasons. So I'll just dive into all of that today. As you can see, I have some fat plates under my feet. That is one issue I have with bench press. I and mean, that could be a part of hate, not absolute hate because it's a strong word. But the reasons why I don't look forward to do it, let's say, is just have to find a bench. And, you know, as you can see in this video, it's a proper powerlifting bench. So it is set. Otherwise, in gym these days, you, you do have bench press uh, set. But otherwise, you'll have to drag a bench, bring it under a kind of uh, uh, a squat rack, which is what I had to do a lot in my gym before because it was outside. So that's one thing. Um, other than that, if you think more from coaching perspective and more from what you are going to get out of it, I know almost all of you will disagree because bench press has been embedded into the fitness culture, ingrained into our mind to be the king and, and, and the exercise to do. Uh, I won't get into that as to how it all started, but... If you think of powerlifting type perspective, uh, you go, if you, let's say if you go to a powerlifting meet, you see someone squatting heavy and you can see him doing what he's doing, grabbing a bar under the back, going down, coming up and putting the bar back. Same goes for deadlift. The bar is in front of the lifter. You can see as an audience and they stand there. Like you are presenting yourself standing with the weight on your back or from the floor up the top. But on the bench press, who wants to see a man lay on his back and move some weight? There is no entertainment value to it. Another point is that amongst all the four foundation movement that I call the big four, and amongst any lift, bench press is one of the most unnatural, the most non-functional, if that could be a term, kind of a movement. Never in your life that you lay down on your back and do some exercises. And I think that could be the one reason why a lot of people prefer it. And this is a bit more nuance. Okay, This goes to our evolutionary psychology. It is hard to be upright and put a bar on your back and move up and down. It is harder also to pull something off the floor which is heavy. We are creatures of comfort and we seek it in more ways than you can imagine and we seek it even without knowing it. So my conspiracy is that we love doing it because it offers us some comfort because we just lay down on our back and you will have to agree with me how many people, maybe including yourself, that go to the do bench press and do not form an arch or tighten their back at all. Most people just enjoy laying there you know, and not tightening their abs, the core, or uh, if you go even further, very well extended back. Not not able to do that. Why? Because as soon as we go on our back, the comfort just grabs us, you know. That could be one reason why it is so much more preferred and is popular in modern Western fitness culture. And that is just my theory, my conspiracy theory, I suppose, of why people do it so much. Second reason could be because the chest pump that it gives you, which is truly a remarkable feeling. It is, it is uh, beyond doubt that you feel the pump in the chest, I suppose, which you will not uh, much in squats or deadlift. So those are... The two specific reasons I think I constantly wrestle with whether I should or should not do the bench press. 
I must say that uh, one reason for my love and hate kind of swinging around with bench press has been because of my issue in my left shoulder and more specifically in my left shoulder blade scapula. Uh, it is getting much better and the first time when it happened around three years ago it would hurt me the most doing bench press and I started doing very light bench press. Funny enough when I was doing overhead press it didn't hurt but it did in bench press and this is where I'm going to bring the little bit of economy of movement that I call when you're doing a bench press and typically without much guidance and coaching of how to do it efficiently and safely most people that included me as well a while ago when I was a young looking wanting to be ripped kind of a guy going to the gym was that the elbows flared out and it was a typical gym bro type you know bench press where I'm not squeezing my scapulas and I'm not keeping my elbows tucked in so that the head of my humerus the head of my upper arm which goes into the fossa of the shoulder joint the capsule imagine if I was doing as you're watching me that my elbows were pointing really outwards what happens is that the head of the humerus the ball part which goes into the socket of the shoulder joint is quite outwards and hence the muscles which are responsible to keep it together are having to work hard and there is some kind of impingement and you will feel it if you if you want to experience how not to feel the impingement I suggest you you do a standing overhead press and try to keep your elbows as close to yourself in the start position and make sure that the pointy bit of your elbow as you press the bar is exactly under the bar and is following and watch yourself in the mirror make sure the pointy bit of your elbow is following and not coming outwards when it comes outward you will experience impingement I think in most cases it happens when that happens over and over and over again and we know we know the majority of guys who go to the gym really go hard on bench press because they love it and that is my point Bench press is perhaps the cause of most of, not the injuries, but the unhealthy shoulder issues that people have. And here I will add another little point which needs to be mentioned for those people who go to gym. Uh, overuse injury. Almost anything that in body you have, if you use it too much, you're going to have some issues, whether it is just pain and niggle or an injury. Bench press is loved by everybody. I think Monday is the international chest day everybody does it and everybody does it with their flare elbows and they do end up doing lots and lots of reps over a period of you know five six seven years and then they have this issue because of two reasons one that they have done it so many times overuse secondly they're doing it with their elbows flared out where the joint is itself challenged out of its normal safe range these two factors combine to, I suppose, most of the issues with shoulders. Bench press and bench press alone, I think, is the main contributor. But there are other movements that can do, such as fly. But when you do fly, you only do with dumbbells and they are relatively light. And the obsession that we have in our gym culture with bench press goes to explain to me at least the reasons behind why so many people have shoulder issues they, they it can be corrected quite easily and if if you want ever to delve into that you should just see some power lifters how they actually do their bench press now i'm not saying how acrobatically they really literally you know uh, uh, make a huge bridge of their back bring the chest right up to the <laughs> bar grab the bar absolutely wide and just move the bar a few inches I know that is the biggest criticism that you can have for bench press but we have to understand that's a sport and that's what they're trying to do their best 
super wide grip, ensuring there's only a few inches. I'm not talking about that kind of power lifting uh, bench press. I'm talking about something which is in the middle. By that I mean that your feet are planted nice and hard, something I don't see much with the gym bros doing the bench press, pointed outwards, okay? Tension in the thighs, squeezing the glutes and pushing your shoulder blades into, digging into the bench press, bench. When that happens, there will be a natural arch relative to whatever your anatomy is, okay? So you are having a contact glutes to the bench, but not your lower back, and your shoulder blades are digging into the bench. Imagine somebody standing right behind you when you're doing a bench press, but before that, he puts his palms right on top of your shoulders, and you're pushing into his hand. That kind of tightness. This form that I've just described is the way I do my bench press, and it is in the middle path of gym bro and out and out powerlifting bench press. I think I'm just about to fall asleep there. So this middle path is perfect for an, anyone. Definitely the gym, uh, the gym bro bench press is not good even if it is done only for a year or so because uh, it's it's so inefficient. Uh, I have given up the thought a long time ago to have a big chest and this and that. I just go for strength. But I must say I don't mind having, you know, a bit of muscle, upper, mu upper chest muscles and, you know, just broad chest. I'm happy the way it is right now. But as you can see, I have done a fair, I have done a fair bit of volume in this session, but very light volume. I am moving that way. I am uh, using sets and rep range, which is more for bodybuilders or I should say hypertrophy. So it's possible with high rep range, you know, I might just not be able to hold that form. But overall, that was my feedback, my rant. I have kept in my, <laughs> in my mind and my heart. And I'm feeling better now that I have had, uh, you know, a kind of uh, cathartic talk about bench press and my up and down love and hate relationship with it. I hope you understand these points. They, they, these are very important points. Why do you do something more than other? Why don't you just do bodyweight squats when it comes to doing some challenge of fitness? Why do we all go for push-ups? Why do we love doing bench press more than deadlifts? Why do we love bench press more than squats? There are reasons behind this and I like to explore those reasons as just a normal viewer and also as a coach from the viewpoint of uh, society and all the viewpoint of sometimes evolutionary psychology or evolutionary biology. Anyway, I hope you loved the video and uh, like and subscribe and I'll keep coming up with the, more of these and I will see you next time.